Hello, it's Yvonne with a little different today, don't I? <laughs> well, today I'm filming this for a collab, another collab challenge. This one is by George the Antique Nomad. So, his is the show off your bunker challenge. There it is. Show off your bunker challenge. And he said, we're all at home, so now's a great time to show off old things we enjoy. We've all got cool collections, thrift store style, vintage values, and functional finds. I see what you did there, George. Let's inspire each other by showing off our antique, vintage, and thrifted goodies and how we live the, with them every day. And then it goes on to tell like the little details of um, how to do this because he's going to put them all, everyone who participates, he's going to put them in a playlist as well. So my approach, my theme for this um, collab is going to be thrift store fashionista. 95% of my wardrobe does come from the thrift store or sales racks, right? And so I thought I'd show off some of my favorite pieces because all you ever really see me in are my athletic or athleisure clothes, right? Like you've never really seen me <laughs> even in a dress. So I'm going to come get you and I'm going to take you into my dressing room. Okay, so here it is. So like I said, this is probably like dedicated for a children's room. It's not a mas the master suite by any means. This house is retro, built in the 80s. Um, so I turning it into a dressing room, it's not a formal dressing room, but most everything in here is also thrifted or it came from leftover items from my brick and mortar store when I used to do that, such as the um, black grid that I have put together to make racks, extra racks, because the closet in this room is so tiny right and like again this is probably a kid's room and this is an older house and it's not a big fancy mansion by any means so um i had a bunch of this black grid and a brick and mortar store that i had called attractions and i also had extra for when i would go do shows because you could just lay it all flat and then take it up and just hook it together and make stands right so i don't know if you can tell but that's what i've been using here it's just taller pieces of this grid these ikea dressers so smooth and cool kind of a little bit of a retro look too i like to mix modern with maybe a little bit of vintage and retro but i kind of lean toward um, sleek pieces and then accent with other items right but i could not believe i got these for 30 dollars. i have no clue why this was back when the goodwill used to really have good prices this was about five years ago but i just love these there it's two of them and they are i see so this is still a work in progress okay over there i'm making like a makeup center let me come get you guys and show you, okay? Okay, so over here I'm making a makeup center. So I've got a cart and I'm going to add another something else cool to the top to make another layer. There's my retro lamp. And then I got that at the thrift store. It's an extra tall um, office chair, so I love that. So I think this is really pretty um, to try to give some depth to this room. The other one is... This one's good too. I don't know if you can see. There's a person riding a bike along the river, mountains in the background. It does draw your eye in too and give it an illusion of depth. But it's a foreign city. Like, I'm not sure. Italy or something or Greece? I'm not sure. So I think I'm kind of leaning toward this one. Leaning toward this one. Um, I think that's really nice. It has, still has some good depth to it. And, you know, this could be any country just about. So I'm leaning toward this one. And what I'll do is a little bit and probably put like some curtains on each side and a small balance. So it kind of gives the appearance of like you're looking out a window. Okay. And kind of lengthen this room, make it more exciting and pleasing. Right. So I may use these gauze. Remember these for $6.99, I got four panels, these macrame gauze 
curtain so epic i can't even believe it if i was to sell this set i'd probably ask 150 180 dollars somewhere like that there's four of them they're from world market look but i don't i think that might then be a little heavy right so i'm probably going to put these someplace else and put something lighter you know anyways that's kind of what's going on here what do you guys think which one do you like better <laughs> i think you might like this again everything in here pretty much thrifted um even these little um bins these little rolling bins that i have stacked that have the drawers okay so these have you know nail care jewelry hair care so i'm really trying to make the most of the space and keep things kind of light so that it's not overwhelming the room since it is a small room this tray is full of some recent jewelry that i bought uh, while out thrifting because um, I've been stockpiling jewelry for about the last four years for resale. The box that I showed you the other day, if you follow me on YouTube. And then, so while I'm doing that, I have found some pieces for myself. And they're in this tray to be put in this box, which is what I want to show. This box, this box is so cool. I did thrift this for about $9, but look see isn't that so cool and the reason i have this the stuff that i think that i think i love the most right now is in here and then some of this new stuff will be put in here because it's easy to grab and go we did have um a forest fire not too long ago well eh, about nine years ago and um we did lose some homes on the other side of the, the big highway that kind of kept it, you know, it didn't jump over, but it came down the mountain. We're nestled right up uh, along the mountain range in, in a valley. So people that were on the other side, they did have to evacuate and we lost some homes. I was on this side of the highway and still am, but we had pre-evacuation orders. And when you went outside, the ashes were in the air. It was so hard to breathe. It was scary. So um, a lot of us pre-packed. And so that's where I learned, hmm, I really need some lightweight, easy to carry things for some of the things that are important to me. So, you know, I've got a briefcase from important papers and some, you know, photographs on the front of that. So that's why I have that. So on these belts, I love these Moroccan um belts they're never they're kind of a classic so to speak they they tend to peak in the fashion world like every 20 years or so and um they kind of are right now with the western and the boho look this moroccan style so and that they do have resale value okay so i buy them for myself how much was this one this one was 4.99 so i buy them for myself and i buy them for resale so i think i have a brown one up in here too and so i just kind of wanted to show off some of my cool belts now if you remember i talked about this belt the other day about upcycling it this concho belt is not on real silver so i would never have took apart such an expensive belt but it's not the cheap cheap either and it does have real rhinestones i'll come in closer just in case um you didn't see that video or if you're new to following me so you know i took some of these off and decorated a pair of gladiators for ebay open the other year and i'm thinking about making some kind of a bracelet out of some of it so i've got quite a few pieces left to upcycle and decorate something fun so some of these belts especially these over here tend to be earmarked for an upcycle fashion because this is really like this one's too small for me i paid 2.99 this price is still on it let me show you this how cool this one is see that so this is earmarked for some kind of upcycling fashion project too three dollars so that's what some of these are for but then some of these i wear and i love i've got a couple of indian type indian type belts and i'll come in in a minute and show you closer okay I love this one too. Look at this buckle. Isn't that awesome buckle? It's like a phoenix rising. Uh, all etched and just beautiful. So I kept that for myself, but I'm sure it has resale value. 
and a lot of concho belts because I kind of like that rocker look too, right? Like, um, you know, a little bit of bohemian and rocker like Stevie Nicks. Um, a new person would be Florence from Florence and the Machine. Um, Gemma from Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> Who else? Of course, I'm a Cher fan from way back, so I like a little bit of the bling and a little bit of her rocker look. Um, she was all over the map, of course, right? So I tend to like, you know, some of these kind of belts. The Western ones will do, a lot of them will do great for that rocker look and that boho. Now this one, I want to talk about this, about this one that has resale value. This is the Kippies. I bought, I found these at the thrift store and bought and sold several. This one I kept for myself, finally one that was my size. But I don't know if you'll see this, but it says Kippies on the back of the buckle and unless it's real real old or something special and it'll have this kippies let me come in slow and see if you can see that that says kippies i don't know if you can see it because of the reflection so this was probably on their website brand new this is probably a three or four hundred dollar belt so resale value on it if i was going to sell it has the original buckle as well um i would probably put it up for like 120 but it's not for sale. <laughs> I've sold all the other ones, but this one's mine. Besides the kippy and my Moroccan belts, these are my two favorites. Okay, so first the Harley one. Super cute, thrifted. I don't remember, but I'm going to guess somewhere around 10 or 12 because most thrift stores know their Harley stuff, right? This is super cute with a little feminine buckle on Avalone. It is licensed, fully licensed and marked in the back. Each one of these conchas has a Harley Davidson bar and shield. Um, it is all leather. If I were to sell this, it's probably resale value pretty quick. It's probably, I don't know, 60 or so. I'm not ready to sell it. My husband has had a Harley ever since Air Force. He's um, 30 some years. And um, he's been everywhere in that thing. Now, I'm not a Harley girl. And I'll tell you why. I grew up, yes, my father rode Indians and Harleys, but in 1988, he wrecked his Harley coming back from Sturgis. So, um, head injury, plate in his head, uh, air flight to Salt Lake City, coma for two weeks. I spent two months, I had, I was in Dallas, I had to fly to Salt Lake City to, you know, take care of my dad. Um, I spent two months living out of the ICU hospital waiting room there. Anyways, I've had to kind of keep an eye on my dad ever since, okay? So that changed things. That changed his cognitive. So, yeah, not a motorcycle lover. I do like ATVs. I did do that for many years. I sold mine about 10 years ago, um, but that's four wheels. <laughs> I did racing, ice racing, whatever. Okay, so... I would love to go through my husband's like t-shirt collection and look for any 3D emblem or anything like that because we know those are worth money. But kind of like stay married to you. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Now this is my all-time favorite. I'm a poker player. I'm a pro-am poker player. Um, online and offline. I have won money in a large offline poker tournament. One of those ones that's on TV that travels around. Steve and I went up to Denver and we entered one of those and uh, I placed and won a little bit of money. So that was super fun. If you're a poker player and you've never done that, um, please try to do that sometime in your life when we get back to the new normal. It's like nerve wracking, exhilarating, like uh, it's just so exciting. Just all these things at once. It's just incredible. Anyways, this belt's not for sale. I did thrift this one for $5.99. It's leather. It's a Nakona on top of that. These are, can you see that? Each one of these is a blinged out with poker cards, aces, spades, clubs, diamonds. I love this belt. Not for sale. <laughs> see, of course, I have another disco ball, right? <laughs> and a smiley face shirt. Of course I do. Really nice. Thrifted. All of these have resale value too. And these will probably be upcycled, okay? I love the pieces in them for upcycling. Um, this I got not thrifted, but at an outlet store that I source. It's a honey hole, so I don't talk about it too much. 
Um, I might be talked into it in the future. We'll see. I wanted to show this too. This thrifted item is a Steve Madden belt bag. This is not a shoulder bag. This is a belt bag. <laughs> Isn't it adorable? And then this is a Thomas Wilde. So um, even this wallet's probably $120. Their purses are like three, four, five hundred and up like for their really elaborate leather rocker type purses okay uh go to their website it's very interesting because you need to know in case you find it in the wild thomas wild w y l d e i don't know if it'll focus on that skull thomas wild and then one more thing because i love this this is a little clutch it has a handle isn't it adorable made out of um, keyboard, whatever the, you call these little keyboard things. I love this so much. I did thrift this, see so it has this little handle. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> a couple more thrifted items that I love and that if you're a reseller, you will want to know because it has resale value. I kept this one, this Kate Spade, because I am a poker player. So, play the wild card. And then I love that Rolling Stones tote bag with um, <laughs> Kid Rock on it. Whenever we're feeling a little rowdy, um, of course, Led Zeppelin is my go-to. So here are a couple of fun um, purses to this belt bag <laughs> I was saving to go back to eBay open. $1.99. Who doesn't need an American flag sequin belt bag? And I love this one because of the black and orange color tone, which... But this is actually a Donna Karen, so I think this one may come up for sale because I'm pretty sure um, I'm going to be shopping my own closet as I continue to clean it up, as I continue to organize it, and once I run out of stock, if this stay-at-home, you know, pandemic kind of carries on, then I'll probably come in here and shop my own closet because, as you can see, a lot of things still have price tags on them, so... <laughs> I might thin it out. So uh, this is my other rack and um, that I made out of, you know, the grid. And this is a double decker, as you can see. These are just poles and stuff that I got at the thrift store. I think this is a shower curtain rod or a weight. <laughs> like almost everything has come from the thrift store. I really try to get things on the cheap. Anyways, um, I do buy some shoes to resell and I'm okay to buy some for myself. I thought these were really cute. These are bands all leather sneakers but in that saddle look i thought that would be fun for like a little retro outfit you know like little clam diggers or something um saddle shoes were real popular what in the 50s and 60s yeah so i thought yeah i'll get those but they've got resale value of about 30 dollars or so and then another thing that does have resale value too these are mini tonkas little mini tonka leather gladiators so saving money and making money okay so this is all my athleisure y'all see me wear all the time so um i wanted to talk about this magnolia pearl um i don't know how to describe them they're relatively new i think their flagship store is in texas and they do have you know they're expanding so there are stores all over now i think we have one up in denver but they're an interesting style it's kind of um like depression era meets old farmers meets bordella like old west bordella and bohemian i don't know how to describe it but like this isn't a magnolia pearl this is a dupe but this is kind of what it would be like so um this is I'm just an off brand but i thought oh that looks like it could be magnolia pearl well you can't put magnolia pearl in your listings on ebay um they're watching and they will flag it um magnolia pearl will put in a, a copyright thing on on us but this is really supposed to be like a sundress but unless you're super petite like this just makes you look kind of frumpy i don't know but it's got an elastic back and it's really cute as a skirt too so i'm going to wear this as a skirt and layer it over something else and find just the right magnolia pearlish top to go with it 
So I'm just letting you know because um, this is a cute little style if you like that and for resale value. Some of their items are starting to show up in consignment stores. I've never found a real Magnolia Pearl in the thrift store yet, but they are starting to show up in some consignment shops. But even though you're going to pay more there, the resale value is still very high on Magnolia Pearl, so sometimes it would still be worth a flip. Or if you just like this style, this romantic style, um, you're just going to thank me if you hadn't already heard of Magnolia Pearl. Okay, so here's a nice little thrifted item. Okay, a couple more things. So we've been, we've been redoing the 80s and 90s streetwear pretty pretty fine right it's we know how to resell that but I think it's going to expand into suits too so I love these that little asymmetrical look think like um dynasty show a Dallas show see Sue Ellen and then dynasty with Linda Evans and Joan Collins and then some of those movies like um Daryl Hannah and Demi Moore played in a couple of those movies where they wore these kind of 90s power suits <laughs> anyways super cute i sometimes call them church suits <laughs> yeah like this one definitely i call a church suit this has a matching skirt and the skirt has a thigh high slit with this nice little treatment on it too uh, i think i paid 850 for this not too long ago just right before the holidays but all of this would have a resale value right now i'm pretty sure i'm gonna keep these for a while this one i haven't worn yet either let me put this down this one's super cute. I paid $5.50 for this. I haven't worn it yet. I'm going to do a little altering on the back, tapering to make it fit a little nicer. Super cute. Let me bring this one in. This one has silver and metallic threads. Isn't that cute? Can you see that? And then there's some pastel too. I don't know if you can see the pastel threads. And then the blinged out rhinestone buttons. Really nice. If I was going to put this one up, I tried really hard to find the skirt, but I couldn't. Um, if I was going to put this one up, I'd probably put $30 or $40 on it. So pretty. Oh. <laughs> and I love this. Most of us clothing resellers know Jack B. Quick, Varek, Michael Simon. Those kind of themed sweaters, retro and vintage, with these crazy themes on Oh, Quacker Factory. Um, storybook Knits um they have good resale value so i found this one i love this one look at that oh my gosh mermaids there's one on the back too this is a jack be quick i think i paid about 6.99 i did put this one up for sale 90 dollars because i didn't really want to sell it um someone bought it straight up 90 dollars i went to pack it i just could not do it you guys, I, I've already admitted this story in a previous video. I'm not your role model on this. I couldn't do it. I'm like, oh, why did I put that up for sale? I canceled the sale. I'm sorry, universe. I made someone very upset. I canceled the sale. Um, sorry, but just so you know, this was worth $90. <laughs> I did try to find another one. Um, that I could like point this person to on Poshmark or eBay, but just not the right size. <sighs> oh well, I love this though. So cute. These are really cute. Look how nice and romantic this one is. Isn't that adorable? Super cute. Little peplum. And then this one. I haven't even worn this one yet. I need to wear this. Um, $6.99 and this is a Karen Kane. So resale value on this would be fine. I could probably get about $40 pretty easy on this. Karen Kane is um, known to us tall girls because their sleeve lengths are usually a little longer. So most of us tall girls know Karen Kane. But isn't that just beautiful? This is one of my favorites. When I get this room all finished, I'll do a full-blown thrift store fashionista <laughs> video on this. But let me get it fixed. But I love this. I recently showed this off. I got this last year, but I recently showed it off on Instagram for um, Loretta Thrift Love Sells um, hashtag show us something your favorite thrifted item at home. And this got a lot of likes. This is a Tahari. So resale value is there, but this one's not for sale. Velvet embroidered duster, 
satin lined. So you always want to pick these up as a reseller, these kind of embroidered um, dusters. I think the best sale I've had so far was a Johnny Was duster that was all embroidered. But sometimes it does not matter whether it's a name brand or not when it comes to a cool rockin' embroidered duster of some type, okay? So, well, yay! Love well, I hope you liked this little sneak peek of my dressing room. It's still a work in progress, but it's coming along. I hope it gave you some inspiration as to what you can find for yourself to be a thrift store fashionista. Buying and selling secondhand clothing is still a great opportunity and a good way to be socially responsible and make money at the same time, not to mention the things that you can find for yourself. I also hope maybe a little inspiration is what you can do with a small space and maybe a sneak peek of this remodeling work in process might give you some ideas of how you can maximize storage space, um, display space on the cheap. Again, these IKEA dressers are from the Goodwill. And this black grid that I have, you can often buy it pretty affordably at a secondhand store fixture um, outlet. Okay, well that's all. I'll see you on my next video or on one of yours. Thanks and have a great day.